I'm gonna go to Safeway to see what's new on the discount racks. These are some summer items. Yeah, it's hard to believe. Summer's almost here and it's, and it's raining outside. It usually doesn't rain here in May. Oh, Rice Krispie Treats. $11. I don't know, is that a good deal? There's... How many are in there? It says... Uh, oh, 40? There's 40 servings. Those must be small. Maybe just one of those little tiny things. Yeah. There's a lot of red vines. I never like those. My friend loves those red vines, but it sticks in your teeth and causes ca cavities, so it's not a good thing. Here's a misting fan. Oh, you put water in there, I guess? Maybe you fill it with water, and that's pretty good for the summer. And this is another thing, a necklace fan. This is uh, $8.99 for this um, slow-roasted dark turkey, dark turkey meat. Oh, that's something, uh, usually you don't see roasted turkey meat. Here's a meatloaf. And this chicken is, uh, how much is it? I think it's $8.99. I don't know, I don't see the price. This is the bakery discount rack. Let's see what this is. A rosemary and olive oil bread. And it's normally $6, so this is $3. Yeah, I guess that's not too bad. This is a ciabatta Toscana bread, normally $6 and $3 for that. Let's see what this powdered raspberry donuts. Yeah, this is $3. There's a lot of uh, baked goods here. Oh, okay, here's some of these that I liked. Chocolate croissants for $3. I'll get one of those. And here's banana. I'm going to make my own banana nut bread. I got bananas. I got to make banana nut bread. No, no reason to buy those. And blueberry. Okay, this is $3. I'll get that. And here is, wow, this is some big garlic bread. This is normally four dollars, three sixty-nine. So this might not be a bad price. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and get it because I'm gonna make some soup. I think. Yeah, I might. I might make some soup and eat garlic bread with it. So these are similar to those Rice Krispies, and it's two fifty each. So definitely those. That box is a better deal. It's a peanut butter crispy bar for $2.50. Yeah. They still have a lot of donuts, but I I'm trying to stay away from donuts. There's some pretty cakes. Oh, the graduation cakes. Wow, $47. I think it's cheaper just making your own cake. I guess maybe some people don't know how to make a cake. This is a good deal. Four for a dollar. I'm going to get some corn on the cob. I haven't had corn on the cob in a long time. Since last year, I guess. So yeah. Four for a dollar. That's a good deal. I'm going to get... Is there a limit? Yeah, I'll get four. It's not really all white. It's some yellow kernels, but I think it's good enough. And here's some protein bars, Z-Bar. 50% off, uh, normally $7. This is for kids, I guess. Hmm. 
organic mayonnaise. It's just good until July. Normally it's $9.50 for this. Wow, that's expensive. I think some of these things are just uh, kind of overpriced. That's why they end up here. Chips Deluxe. This is uh, $5.80. And I'm going to pass. Savory Nut Crunch. Everything Bagel, it's called. I don't see the discount sticker on it, so I'm not sure how much that is. If it's really 50% off. Here's some Skittles. $2.50. So it'd be $1.25. I don't like Skittles. Junior Mints. This is $1.50 for the discount price. Normally $3. What is this? Some kind of candle? Birthday candles? or Yeah, birthday candles. This is normally $9.00. Those are some big candles. What is this? Gel food colors. And I don't see that discount sticker on there. I don't know. Sometimes they might put it on here. On this rack and it's not really discounted. This one looks good. Is it worth $2.15? Chocolate XOXOX filled salted caramel for a dollar or for two dollars and fifteen cents um, would you buy this would you buy this at that price hmm uh, let's see when does it expire when does it expire I don't know sometimes it's hard to tell when it, oh, here it is. February of 2025. So it's still good for a long time. I guess the price was just too high. That's why it ended up on the shelf. And plus the packaging is a little kind of a little wrinkled. So this looks pretty good. This would be $3. Bark Thins. Dark Chocolate Almond and Sea Salt. I'll go ahead and get... Oh, look at that. It's, it's got some see if I got a better one. Each one of them has a little chocolate smear on it and that's why it's probably ending up on the shelf. This little smear of chocolate on there. That's enough to... Okay, this is dark chocolate pretzel. Oh, I don't care if it's got a little smear of chocolate on there. It's still closed. It's still sealed. So yeah, I'll go ahead and get that. Here's some of these containers I was looking at the 99 cent store. My mom used to love these on Ritz crackers. And so it'd be $2.40 for this. And it expires in August. Um, the problem with that is I, I, you have to spread it on the cracker and it's just too much carb. This is why I like to shopping at the 99 cent store because the cauliflower here is four dollars each it was so so good shopping at the 99 cent store i didn't mind the little imperfections so the broccoli here is 350 per pound so i'm going to go check out the grocery outlet and see what the price is. I think it's a lot cheaper. I think I'm going to be shopping at the grocery outlet and Food Max from now on for my vegetables because the 99 cent store is closed. These same frozen meals, these Mike, Michaelinas, if that's how it's pronounced, is at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Here they're $1.79. So yeah. You really have to shop around for the best deal. It's just incredible. This is $8 for these Amy's bowls and that grocery outlet. 
I thought a grocery outlet was high. But here it's eight dollars, so grocery outlet is a better deal. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever buy eggs here, it's just too much. Uh, grocery outlet is the better deal, and maybe even Food Max. I think that's all I'm going to get. I'm going to go pay for my stuff.